the first arrivals. When the first settlers arrived on Calypso, everything was prepared for their arrival by robots that had already built up a complete infrastructure. Upon the settlers arrival, the robot space matrix turned over its control to the humans. The first settlers on Calypso experienced a historical moment as they sat foot on a vast and unspoiled planet, rich in life and resources. They moved into the cities and began to make the last adjustments to the environment. Mankind seemed to have returned to paradise and this first region of colonies became known as New Eden. But all this would soon change. During further investigations of the robot-based matrix on Calypso, the research teams were never able to find the reason why the Odysseus probe had stayed for so long before leaving. Though the reason for this delay would remain a mystery, the researchers did come across several clues that pointed towards another nearby star system, positioned even further away in unknown regions of space. The scattered information indicated that shortly after a robot base had been successfully established on Calypso, the Odysseus probe had constructed a new jump rail and then launched itself towards this new destination. Its last transmission was made only to inform the base matrix that the probe had arrived and positioned itself in orbit around one of the major planets inside this system. For all they knew, the silent Odysseus probe could still be there. The Omega Tech Corporation decided to launch a second project called Operation Prometheus in an attempt to shed more light over the mysterious actions of the Odysseus probe. It would also be an opportunity to intercept and examine this old human artifact from the past. An unmanned probe named the Prometheus One was prepared for the mission and a small jump rail was built to launch the probe towards the last received coordinates. Equipped with a hyperlink transmitter, you could send back instantaneous information of what it might discover. Because we realized we had a fast track to allow humanity to move to space and to make a profit doing so. We already have the letters of commitment to make this profitable from the very first mission. Prometheus is the next step in a wide range of critical infrastructure solutions. This is happening, we are going, and in phase two, we'll begin to offer return of payloads to Earth. If you believe in the mission of providing more space in space, join us. The probe arrived at its intended destination in less than three months and transmitted data of an eerie and dark planetary system orbiting a dying star. To colossal planets with high density readings were the most distinct features in the system and were given the names Akbal and Chimi. There was no sign of the Odysseus probe, but Prometheus 1 had detected signals from several robot base installations on the surface of both these planets. There was no doubt that these robots originated from the Odysseus probe. But the question was why the robot base matrix hadn't established any communications with the interstellar hyperlink network, as Prometheus 1 was ordered to establish contact with the base matrix on the planet Akbal. The research team back on Calypso received several encrypted signals through its system that originated from the robot base matrix on Akbal. Unable to decode it, they decided to process it through the base matrix on Calypso. Lizard lick, merp, 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 mer